Hey there guys, just wanted to bring your attention to another channel we have and this guy is also a sovereign. Now he's having some issues with some police officers over in the USA. So for anyone that is wanting to support this sovereign, uh, I would suggest that you jump on and have a look at his videos. I will link this video underneath. Now this video is his latest upload. I would start at the beginning because it basically goes to show you that the only reason that these police thugs, these corporate thugs, who are working for the criminals and the banking cartel and the power elite, okay, these guys are corporate thugs, they are criminal, they are working for criminals and regardless of whether they think they are doing the right thing or not, they are criminals. Now, they're on his property, they have refused to show him his warrant, even though they told him that they had a warrant for him. They refused to show him the warrant, so it was quite clear that they lied about that. And uh, basically, the only reason they're there and harassing this man is because he actually was driving and exercising, exercising, excuse me, he wasn't driving, he was exercising his right to travel. And he does not want to go into a contract with the government for a license for a contract license. He's uh, rescinded that contract. He does not want to be in any contract with the government and he has a right to do that. Now, I just want to address a few people. Once again, the ignorance is quite appalling because uh, it seems that people just don't have the ability to think outside that slave mentality, that slave perspective. And I've had a few well-intentioned uh, comments as well as just a few totally ignorant comments uh, in regards to people saying that uh, he hasn't paid his license and therefore he hasn't paid his registration and if uh, he was to cause an accident then how would he, uh, you know, pay the victims any compensation. Now, people need to understand that money is an illusion. This is their system. If we didn't have money and someone was travelling and they had an, ex an accident with somebody else, it's an accident to start with, okay. Um, if it was, you know, an intentioned, uh, you know, destructive act, then that is something differently, uh, you know, that's something different altogether. I'm talking about if someone is exercising their right to travel and they accidentally go up the um, rear end of another car and uh, they do damage, well, if we didn't have uh, the matrix that we were existing in, then I'm sure that those two people could come to an arrangement of where the owner's car is fixed, the other person's car is fixed, and uh, we have the village elders that would sort that out. This, this is how we used to work before they came along and uh, pretended that there was no other way for us to exist, okay? That's what people have to start understanding, is that we are under a false system. Insurance doesn't matter. Licensing doesn't matter. It's all revenue. It's got nothing to do about keeping people safe. Please tell me how having a fucking piece of paper that says that you have the right to drive protects anybody. Please tell me how that protects anybody. Please tell me how having registration on your car protects anybody. Once again, you're going into that Money mentality. Oh, well, if they hit someone, they'll need to pay their money. Get the fuck away from this money mentality. This is what enslaves us. It's These thugs here are there to collect for the banks and the power elite. That is all they do is to collect their taxes, their revenue from the slaves. Okay? You need to understand that registration and licensing and all of those other fees and transactions that you do are supporting the matrix. We don't need them there. We are powerful and intelligent human beings that can exist on this planet without parents in the form of corporate fucking thugs like this and the government and the Vatican telling us how to behave and what to do. You know, I don't drive to the speed limit ever, okay? I drive to the conditions on the road and I drive a V8, a very powerful car, and I love it. I'm a little bit of a hoon, I must say. And if I see a bit of open road, yeah, I put the foot down, okay? Because I enjoy being alive and living on this planet. And part of that is the acceleration of being able to travel 
in any way I see fit. I drive to the conditions. I don't drive to the speed limit. I don't need someone to tell me to do 40 around a corner when I can do 60 around it. I don't need them to think for me. And that's the problem. People have given away their power and their fucking brains. This is why I get stuck behind people driving that can't fucking think for themselves. And they're the ones that normally have the accidents. I've never had an accident. But the ones that normally have the accidents, the ones, and I live on a mountain range, and believe me, um, I normally see uh, an accident every couple of weeks, okay, because uh, brain-dead sheep that can't drive to the conditions because all they ever do is what everybody tells them. They need someone to hold their hand. They've forgotten how to think logically. They've forgotten how to assess dangers. They've forgotten how to make their own um, decisions based on, you know, the, 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 the factors at the time. And we all have the right to do this. And we don't have, you know, have to put up with these corporate thugs telling us what we can and can't do. We're living in a prison, guys. Do you get that? You know, do you get it? And instead of bars, we've got debt. That's what enslaves us. Every single one of us out there are feeling disempowered and that don't do what this guy's doing, it's because of money, I can guarantee you. That's the only reason that a lot of people refuse to uh, find the courage to stand up and do this. It's because they worry about the money. They worry about losing their home. They worry about work. You know, we're all trapped in this matrix. And I'm not telling everybody to do this. If you do not know who you are and you do not have the ability to do this, then I would not do it until you're absolutely ready. This is not something that anybody just does without any research and any understanding of what this truly involves. This is something that I would only recommend you do if you absolutely understand what this is going to entail because these cops are not going to leave this guy alone. And this is why it's important that I get this video out there. And I would really love it if you guys could pass on all of these channels that are doing this because we have to help everybody break the chains. This is how it starts, guys. The pebble has just been thrown in the pond and the ripples are now starting to move out. It's up to all of us to empower each other. Now, we might not be in the position to do this yet. You know, one day I hope to be. I really do. At the moment, I'm not in that position either. I don't have the knowledge and I don't have the courage at the moment to step up like these guys do, which is why they get my respect. So I will do everything I can within my power at the moment to help them. And I'm asking that all of you do the same thing. If this means mirroring the videos or just passing the videos on through your Facebook pages or commenting and liking the videos, favoriting the videos, I mean, this all helps to get the message out there and it makes it harder for these thugs to get away with their behaviour because this is the problem. This is the problem. If this um, guy wasn't, and I've forgotten his name, um, but if he wasn't actually videoing this and putting it on YouTube, then he would just be another unnamed sheep slave that gets fucked over and nobody ever finds out about it. Okay? So if we want to uncover and we want to change the matrix, we need to, at first of all, understand we don't need the matrix. They've made us believe that we can't live in harmony and peace with this planet without them dictating to us how to do it. And that's not true because when you look around, they don't live for us. They don't, their laws are not intended for us and for our children. Their laws are only intended for them to make more money and gain more power. So they've given us the illusion that we need them to tell us what to do because we're so fucking incompetent without them telling us how to live, then we'd all just break down into a fucking total chaotic society. And that's not true because you look around us and you see it in these events where you have severe uh, flooding or cyclones. And you know what? Everybody helps each other. That's what we used to do. And if you look at some of these African tribes like the Dugon and these other really untouched tribes, they don't live with laws and dictatorships. They help each other. If someone's crops don't grow that year, they go and help them. They go and give them food. If two people are having an argument because someone's bloody goat or cow broke their fence, they sit around and they talk about it and they come away with a, um, a, an answer and a, and a solution. Okay, it's not just about you did the wrong thing so you have to pay money. 
that doesn't teach anyone anything and all it does is just continue to enslave us into this system. We've got to understand that the system is basically working on money. That's the, the only reason. So all of you people that are commenting, and I just blocked one idiot, okay, and yeah, I did block you, okay, and I blocked you again when you started up another channel name so you could write me this big long letter that I didn't even actually read. I only read the first sentence, so suck eggs. You just wrote, you know, probably took you half an hour to come out with whatever it was, but it was dribble because it's based on ignorance. And I don't accept ignorance. So if you're going to come onto my video and you're going to write ignorance without doing the research and understanding that you're coming from a slave perspective, then you're going to get, going to get either uh, me writing you a very uh, terse reply and uh, probably blocking you. Okay, so don't come on here and sprout your ignorance unless you've done some research. It's got nothing to do with registration and licensing and you're a taxpayer and you've paid for those roads. I don't give a fuck. You're working under a corrupt system. So everything that you've done, paying your taxes for roads, you're an idiot. You're a moron. We all are. We never needed to. They've tricked us into doing this. It was something that we never should have done in the first place, but they tricked us. So this is what we have to understand. The whole system is corrupt. The police, these corporate thugs, are working for the criminals. Okay? All they are is thugs that have come to enforce the banking cartels and the government and the power elite, the Vatican, the whole thing, it's all the same thing and these guys are the people that do their master's biddings. They should not be seen in any way as a respectful person of the law and I understand that there are many great police officers over there that have done the job because they truly believe that they were going to help others. They were doing this to help people and a lot of them don't stay in the job very long if they remain that well-intentioned and uh, good soul because you can't work in this system if you're like that. So any police officers that are working in this system understand that the system's broken. They see it themselves every day. They do it, a lot of them. They watch their partners do it. They watch their partners violently assault people and break the law, but they say nothing. There's all this silence around it. So if you're one of these police officers that are watching your fellow uh, you know, police officers and seniors and sergeants breaking the law and you know they're breaking the law, well, you are a criminal and you will go down with your masters. Do not think that this system is going to hold up much longer because it's not. And this is your chance to actually understand just what side you want to be on. Because if you refuse to acknowledge what's happening around you is wrong and what you're doing to innocent people on behalf of the banks and your puppet masters is wrong. If you can't get that, then I have no sympathy for you about what is about to happen to you because you're going down with your masters. It's all about to fall. And the, as I said, guys, it's the, the, the pebble has just been thrown into the pond and the ripple is now starting to, you know, continue out, to flow out. And it's up to us to keep that momentum going. This is where we do the work. So any of you new age people out there, this is what we do. We don't sit around in circles meditating on love and peace. Get this video and share it with as many people as you can. Mirror this video, share the channel, comment on the video, thumbs up, whatever it takes to get this man's story out to everybody. That's what we do to empower ourselves. That's what we do when we put momentum and intent behind our mental projections. Okay, so mentally we think we want this world to be better. We want this place to be somewhere where we're free and where we can raise our children and our families in a clean and healthy environment without fear every day of whether we have a roof over our head. Okay, so that's the mental intent that we have. That's the mental that we want to exist within. So now we need to manifest that. And this means that we need to get this kind of stuff out there. So if anybody has any of these videos, if any other sovereigns out there have got videos, send them to me and I will promote them and get them out there. This is what I want to do until I am ready to take that step. All right, guys, well, um, I'll leave it here and peace out.